Hey everybody, April here, and I'm back with a long-awaited video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I make my creamy shea butter mix. So first, we're going to start off by putting some shea butter into our bowl. And my shea butter may look a little bit different because I like to use refined shea butter versus unrefined. And that's just a personal preference just because it's easier to work with when making my products. But of course you can go ahead and just use unrefined if that's what you're used to, but either or work fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some castor oil. And of course, we're going to go ahead and add some coconut oil. And as you can see, I am using a kitchen scale because I just like to make sure that my batches are consistent. And last but not least, we're going to add some sweet almond oil. Now, you don't have to use the same oils that I um, use. You can use whatever oils that you prefer or whatever you have on hand. Now we're going to take some water and place a little bit into a pot and we're going to melt our oils in shea butter using the double boiler method on low to medium heat. Now this process may take a while, it could take you about 30 to 40 minutes to melt your oils, but you want to make sure that you're using low heat because you don't want any of your oils to lose its nutrients. Alright, now I'm going to take my spatula and give it a nice stir just to make sure all of the oils have melted. And I'm just going to go ahead and carefully remove my bowl from the heat. All right, now I'm gonna take some saran wrap and cover up my bowl and place it in the freezer. And the reason why I'm placing it in the freezer is so that my oil can rise in temperature and begin to solidify. And that usually takes around 40 minutes. Now you don't want to leave your oil in the freezer for too long because you don't want it to completely solidify. You want it to solidify just enough so that you can begin to mix up your butter. And you want to go ahead and mix up your butter until you get the consistency that you like. And I generally have to mix up my butter for about 20 minutes to get the consistency that I want. And as you can see, the consistency is super creamy just the way that I like it. And now the only way that I make my shea butter is by using the double boiler method. And I like this method because it keeps my shea butter soft and creamy throughout the lifespan of the product. And generally when you don't use the double boiler method and you just go ahead and uh, whip up your shea butter without melting it, after about two days or so, your shea butter begins to solidify again. But melting your shea butter first and your oils will allow your shea butter mix to remain soft and creamy. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my jars and top with some alcohol. And I'm just going to wipe that out with a paper towel. And to uh, package my jars, I'm just going to use a Ziploc bag and pour my shea butter in and cut a hole at the corner just to make it easier to uh, pour my shea butter into my containers. All right, now I'm all done, just gonna place my tops on. And as you can see throughout this whole process, I do like to wear gloves, um, simply because now I am uh, giving away my products to family and friends and such. And it just ensures that everything is sanitized and clean and I'm not transferring any germs or bacteria and such. So it's very important that you wear gloves if you're gonna be giving away your uh, whipped shea butter or any products that you make. And here I'm just showing you what it looks like in a jar, super creamy. And soft I love it and here's my sample I'm just gonna place some on my hands just so you can see how creamy it is and you could also use this um, as a body butter but I generally like to use this product as a sealant for my hair generally I moisturize my hair with water and then I go ahead and seal it with my whip shea butter and as always, I like to give away three jars to my lovely subscribers, but this time I'm also going to add in my do-it-yourself moisturizing hair milk. 
So if you're interested in seeing how you can win both of these products, just make sure you check out the description box. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and share with anyone that may find it helpful. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.